Save. Power. I found everything this world has to offer. Okay. Free yourselves. Take to the sea. It seems like they look Fire more like actual pirates. Not not the main cast. Because some of them look a li little bit goofy with like their hairs and all that. But like right here, like Gold Roger and some of these Marines look like so olden time, like actual pirates. Like I would see those in Pirates of the Caribbean and I'd be like, oh, that looks, yeah, it's just how it looks. So what do you say? Are you with me? Mutiny. Okay. <laughs> well, this, is the, this is the part that's a little iffy for me on this live action is obviously it seems like there's a lot of improvised and made up dialogue that doesn't actually like exist and I'm, I'm fine with that it gives a more fresh feeling to it but for certain situations it's like th this character wouldn't say this like let's be real i doubt luffy even know what mutiny means because i don't so there's no way his ass is gonna know why would anyone want to be a pirate just the best thing Ooh. there is the set pieces look nice for it though and in your back. Salty seer. Yeah, like even like scenes like it makes me think of like a traditional pirate show. It's ready! What is it? <laughs> We're Jolly Roger. We are the Straw Hat crew. Oh, well, that's that's cool, that's cool. We're heading up to the Grand Line. A so far doing a really good job of getting you hyped on this. Bigger islands, bigger that's where we're gonna find the one. Okay. It looks really good with the set pieces. Jump, jump, okay, that actually didn't seem as bad as I thought it would. Like him calling out his attack name for that and just like buggy itself, like the floating pieces and all that, didn't actually seem that bad. Like this is actually seeming like really good right now. It seems like they decided to change the setting of the fight to like an actual circus tent. So I'm not sure if like the plot around that's gonna like change a bit from how it was in the original, which that in its entirety could be fine because I think the Orange Town wasn't really the greatest, especially for like a start introductory. So I can see why they would change it to be more of like a circus like theme, going full on in with that like clown aesthetic. So that that actually seems like it could be a good change. It also looks good aesthetic wise. Luffy, they are hunting you. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I saved your ass. Well, I saved your ass. Wait, what? Hold up, was it? But what's going on here? It looks like the fishman dude from Arlong. Yeah, I saved your ass. Luffy, they are hunting you. Where is this? Sanji with the kicks does look nice with it, though. Yeah, I saved your ass. Well, I saved your ass. Man, isn't it? Gotta be honest, Zoro, that looks kind of goofy. So far, Sanji's shown much more cooler, like, fighting in this than Zoro. Zoro's had a few like goofy drive-by slashes. It looked kind of weird. Sanji's actually got like the kicks and all that. It looks it cool. Some of it like right here looks a little forced, especially with how he kicks and then immediately just kind of falls. It looks looks a little unnatural, but like that's just to be expected a bit. Oh, this is an Arlong Park. Yeah, Arlong Park. Okay, yo, the set pieces for these look really good though. It looks like that, like what a theme park, like an actual theme park. It does look like they're taking like the original design from a lot of these One Piece areas and like enhancing and expanding upon them more. Like Arlong Park, now they're putting actual like attractions and stuff. Orange Town with Buggy taking over, they made the entire circus tent, which that actually seems really good and promising for it. I think so far some of the banter I'm seeing in this is great between like the crew, like this right here even, or this. I don't know what he's self doing with the ah uh, ah. Uh. This crew, our crew. I mean, definitely, it was a good idea not to do the long nose. Oh, hold on, that what was that? Oh, uh, that one looks disgusting. It looks a bit better up close. Like you can see how it's going. Looks very disgusting still. Like it, it looks very weird. <laughs> Like, where? Oh, is this after? Wait. Barati? Wait, what? I. No, I'm actually kind of speechless for this one. This is a change that's very questionable. Like, I'm okay with a lot of these changes they're doing, like, with expanding upon some of these set pieces, and yeah, sure, throw, throw a few, like, miscellaneous lines of banter between the crew, even if it doesn't seem like they would fit properly. I'm fine with that. 
But I think this one is a little bit crossed in the line when they're like, alright, let's take the main villain of the Arlong Park arc and slap him in an entire different area which he isn't supposed to be in. That's where it's questionable. And if this is happening already early on and they're showing that in the trailers, that's a little questionable for me and iffy. Because obviously it's good to be its own unique thing and not just be like a literal word for word, you know, scene for scene copy. Which I think is they're doing great with like expanding on the world, the set pieces, and even just like adding new dialogue, doing some changes like Usopp's nose not being like just long, so there's not going to be that gag constantly. Hopefully Sanji's not as much of a pervert. But it gets a little questionable when they're just completely changing the source material in a way that makes no sense. Because now I'm thinking, okay, well, Luffy and them, they go to Arlong Park, and they don't really know who Arlong is. That's, like, you know, what drove them there. Then they find out, because there was that moment where, oh, did Nami betray them and all that? They get there. How, how are they gonna have that scene of, like, that cool scene of them all walking to Arlong Park? Luffy punches the door open and is like, hey, are you Arlong? If they meet Arlong here. Because now, now I'm really worried about this. Like, going so far, I've been like, oh, this actually looks pretty cool. A few questionable changes, but really sick so far. I'm excited. This one thing is getting me a little iffy. Because now you got Don Krieg, you got all the thing with Jin, uh, all of the meeting Sanji and the Cooks, Mihawk, and now you're going to throw Arlong in there for, like, some sort of plot change? <laughs> yeah, he looks too skinny for Arlong. Like, Arlong seemed like a big, intimidating, like, presence. He's like, hey, we built different. I'm built different physically. Much bigger than you. Much scarier. This one just seems like a normal-sized dude. <laughs> Which makes it seem wacky in comparison to his weapon a bit. He looks so skinny. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Arlong changes so far. You're my captain. From now until the end. I also don't think Zoro would say that. He might think it subconsciously, maybe. But I can't see him ever saying that. I, I, oh no, it started off so good and now it's falling apart for me. I didn't really like that. He just seemed like he just kind of slowly plopped that one down. And then she, no, no tears, even just kind of like a, seemingly a bit like a laugh or something. I, I don't know, just like, at least do like the one trick actors use to fake cry. Like, see some tears. Oh, that's supposed to be like a big catch moment as well. I'm gonna kick your ass because no one messes with my friends. Okay, we got the Shanks look. Yeah, I mean, he looks about as I would expect. Yo, the eyes on Mihawk do look cool with it. Mihawk looks really cool in this. Ooh. Oh, that actually doesn't look bad. So special about you. That was like a big thing I was worried about, like the stretching. It doesn't actually look too bad. Like, some of it looks a bit weird, but it never looks too bad. And I can accept a bit weird. so many pirates it's terrible i know right where's my face well also i'm not sure if luffy would say that i think he's more so happy when he gets a bigger bounty but he never actively is like yo why don't i have a bounty hey future me here and while i was quickly editing this i noticed two things that i just wanted to mention real quick and yes i know i'm over analyzing the hell out of this three minute trailer as it's now like a 10 minute video because it turns out right here it looks like Shanks just, like, ducked for cover for some reason to lose his arm. <laughs> Which is a bit weird, because it's like, Luffy doesn't seem too kidnapped because they're on the boat right here. And then Shanks is like, oh shit, a sea beast. Duck out of the way. And then that seems like how he loses his arm. Which loses a lot of the emotional impact. Like, obviously, yes, there were some inconsistencies with how does Shanks lose his arm to that while saving Luffy. But this is just a little, like, this seems worse. And then on this walk up to Arlong Park, you have Nami also here, which is weird because, like, she wasn't usually there. And this is just after a moment where she's supposed to have broken down crying, finally asking for help, and then those four usually storm in. But she's here wearing the hat. She seems fine. Like, looking at her face, she seems fine. She seems ready. Which is also a little weird. Kind of worried. <laughs> Previously on some like the little teasers, I was it was pretty much mostly skeptical from me. Like I was mostly like, ah, this, uh, still a little iffy on it, 50-50. This one made it seem a lot more exciting though. This one made it seem like, oh, this actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. You know, seems like it would work. Obviously, again, a few 
things that don't seem like they would fit the characters. I think the set piece is really sick now. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing those. Not super keen and very skeptical on the changes they're making to just the actual plot itself. Hopefully it turns out for the best, though. And I guess we'll uh, never know until it actually comes out.